Hi, I'm Grace, New Meds Product Device Specialist, and today I'm going to be showing you the Hugo device and how to use it. So the Hugo Intense is a home use device only. Using it in a professional setting will void your warranty. So this device has a combined magnetic field strength of up to 7,500 gauss when you're using both full body mats at the same time or 5,000 gauss from the localized loop applicator. The system uses a frequency range between one and 50 Hertz. Included in your box, you'll receive your Hugo Intense control unit, your dummy cord lead, your mains power lead, your localized loop applicator, and two full body mats. So you can use the applicators one at a time on this unit, or you can use them in conjunction with each other. Two full body mats are provided to create a sandwich effect. So you'll place one mat underneath you and one on top of you. To begin, make sure that your on off switch on the device is switched to off. Plug in your main supply, and then plug the other end into the front of the system. Please note that the Hugo Intense can only be operated via mains power. So in this example, we're going to plug in just one full body mat, but for all other applicators, the process will be exactly the same. Take the two inputs from your mat applicator and plug them into set one. Ensuring that the blue matches the blue and the gray matches the gray, turn it to the right until you hear it click. Like in this example, if set two is empty, use the dummy cord in your second port. So before you turn the device on, you need to make sure that your intensity dial is pushed as far to the left as possible until you get a little bit of pushback. And then you want to just switch the device on. You'll then hear the fan inside the device start to operate. The timer on the Hugo is preset to 12 minutes. When you're ready to start, click the start button and the timer will begin to count down. For your first few sessions, we do recommend a low and slow approach. What I mean by that is that you keep the intensity dial on the lower end and that you keep your sessions to a maximum time of three minutes. As the timer begins to count down, you can start to increase your intensity to something that you feel comfortable with. The higher the intensity goes on the dial, the lower and slower the frequency becomes. If for any reason you need to pause your session, just click the pause button and this will stop the timer from counting down. Once you've finished your session, you need to just reset your timer by clicking the reset button. And you also need to make sure that that intensity dial is pushed as far to the left as possible ready for your next session to begin. We do recommend waiting a few minutes before you switch the whole device off, just to allow the fan to cool down the spark gap chamber within the device. Once a few minutes have passed, you can just go ahead. And if you have any questions about the products we've discussed today, please do not hesitate to contact us.